Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, the latest count from uh, tornadoes on Thursday night is now up to seven. Uh, we had one, obviously, just north of Grand Rapids. The strongest was the EF2 that hit Williamston just to the southeast of Lansing, and that did result in a fatality when a man was uh, in his vehicle when the tornado crossed I-96. And we had five additional tornadoes down just south of Detroit and parts of uh, Wayne and uh, Monroe counties. So uh, certainly a very active night for sure, and that cleanup continues. Good news is cleanup weather is looking cooperative through the remainder of the weekend. Want to take it back out to South Haven. Notice it is wavy out there. Red flags flying on the North Beach. South Beach is doing okay. We do have a beach hazard statement in effect for Van Buren and Berrien counties, also off the North Mason and Oceana. And that is in effect until 1 a.m. as waves are expected to continue through the evening. If you're hoping to head out to the lakeshore tomorrow, we're expecting high temperatures in the upper 60s and near 70 at the lakeshore. So a bit on the cool side, winds out of the east turning northerly through the day. Waves will be a little less though on the order of one to three feet. Here's a look at temperatures, 74 in Grand Rapids, 77 in Kalamazoo, 78 in Muskegon. A very refreshing day temperature-wise. Dew points are now down into the upper 50s to low 60s, so humidity continues to tumble. And that's especially going to be true as we head into the day on Sunday. Notice that by late tonight, many spots seeing dew points in the mid-50s. And by the time we get to midday Sunday, we'll be seeing those values down into the 40s for many locations with the exception being the lakeshore. Regardless, anything under 60 means that humidity is almost a non-factor, and that's certainly going to be the case for us really through much of the upcoming week. Satellite shows some clouds, especially north of Grand Rapids, but they've been breaking up nicely over the last few hours. That means plenty of sunshine can be expected through the remainder of this evening. Storm track life shows dry conditions as well. It's been a nice dry Saturday. Uh, main reason for that, high pressure remains in control of the Great Lakes and will uh, be in control through much of the day on Sunday and Monday before our next chance of precipitation arrives. Future cast shows uh, clearing skies overnight tonight into the day on Sunday. That's going to really make our temperatures take a tumble. We'll be down into the upper 50s by 1 a.m. Sunset tonight at 827. We'll be all the way down into the low 50s by the time we get to tomorrow morning. We're also keeping an eye on newly named Tropical Depression 10, expected to make landfall in Florida by the middle of next week. Could be a low-end hurricane or a high-end tropical storm when it does so, so that bears watching. Your eight-day forecast shows low to mid-70s for tomorrow, upper 70s Monday, a slight chance of some showers on Tuesday. Overall, though, an absolutely gorgeous week ahead here in West Michigan.